what's up everybody welcome back to carpool gaming and another marvel's avengers video now out of the blue we have a brand new update and it's kind of small but it brings so much fixes actually it is a huge update that's right we have a new update ladies and gentlemen update 1.08 these are the patch notes. Now, as always, I'll be leaving a link down below if you want to check out these patch notes yourself. But hey, let's jump right into it. Marvel's Avengers version 1.31 patch notes. Now, they start off by saying hello to the Marvel's Avengers community. Patch version 1.3.1 addresses a handful of larger issues, including a fix for players that was unable to accept the faction mission villain sector, so thank goodness for that and more XP. They also recognize and apply that this bug prevented players from being able to earn specific rare rewards, and as such, they're granting the players the following 250 polycarbon and 500 runes. These rewards can be claimed from Thursday, September the 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time through Thursday, October 1st, around the same time. Now, about this update, just a couple of hundred megabytes, but man, it has a lot of stuff inside of here. For the PC, they said this to be determined, and for Stadia, same thing. So, this is live, ladies and gentlemen, on the PS4 and the Xbox. First up, we have Reassemble the Campaign of Avengers Initiative. Various Reassemble Campaign and Avengers Initiative fixes, including various crash and stability fixes. They also fixed a rare issue when you are selecting once an Avenger, inadvertently being sent a wrong quest mission for those players. That is fixed. They also fixed the issue keeping some mission chains from completing properly when all requirements are met, a la the reigning supreme quest line. Now, next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have combat. Under combat, various combat fixes and tuning, including Captain America can now smash through doors. Bravo! Fix the issue where overcharging meters were inappropriately decreasing during a team. Finisher, under tuning, improve responsiveness when entering sprint. Flight from jumping as Iron Man, improve responsiveness for light air hammer attacks at store, improve reliability of Iron Man's thruster uppercut, improve presentation of Captain America's sprint block, and tune the spin keeper's standard attack. Reduce heroic drain and added an off screen attack indicator. Bravo. Tuning to Adept Drone Synthoid and Keeper information. They've added new standard attacks to Drone and Keeper, adjusted homing attack to happen less frequently, and adjusted homing projectiles to be more balanced. They also increase global cooldown for all quantum homing projectile attacks and adjusted quantum shard projectiles so that they are no longer unblockable. Next up under gear challenges and rewards. Various gear challenges and reward fixes and tuning include these. They've addressed the issue where refreshing a missing weekly mission will result in a crash. Weekly missions should now appear as intended. We've temporarily disabled refreshing and complete challenges. Fully functionality will be restored in the next update. Address the issue where villain sectors were not properly refreshed, which caused players to miss out on those with rewards. Also, fix additional issues that prevented daily requisition from clearing as intended. Granted players the iconic Iron Man outfit if they lost it due to an outfit bug. Fixed a broken legendary reward that was incorrectly set to power level 1. So we'll see, because I know I have one. We'll see about that when I have one. Address issues with how the insurmountable perk was being applied to gear drops. Fix the issue where some users would not be granted any rewards upon completing an elite heroic hive run. That has happened to me plenty of times. Guarded against a specific scenario that caused Kamala to lose a skill point, we are still investigating retroactively fixing this. Also, address loot tables in Mega Highs to increase the chances that additional loot will be rewarded. Because I know I rented and I didn't get my exotic. 
Now next up, PC specific fixes they address a rare bug that resulted in players' heroes level being reset, usually following uh, multiple connection issues. That is horrible. Seen that on Reddit a lot. Hopefully this is fixed permanently. Xbox specific fixes addressed a rare bug that resulted in a player's hero level being reset, usually following a multiplayer connection issue. So yeah, now upcoming changes. We are in the final stages of testing the following features and hope that they have them rolled out in the near patch. Subtitle size option, high contrast mode, warzone ping system, and a toggle option for hero icons to remain always visible. Now for the known issues and the workarounds, ladies and gentlemen. If you're having this issue, hopefully this works. Progression loss issue. The presentation. This is a rare bug that results in a player hero level being reset, usually following a multiplayer connection issue. Note, if you encounter this issue, immediately try using a backup save. So for everybody who's watching this video, first thing you do when you hop on Marvel's Avengers, get your USB drive, back it up there, back it up to the cloud, and do this every day. I know it's the inconvenience, this is where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. Now, note, if you encounter this issue, immediately try using the backup save. Backup saves are available in the settings menu under gameplay. This feature backs up your save files. Your progress will be saved around every hour and can potentially help retrieve and revert to a different save file. Please note, this may not work for everyone experiencing this issue. That's why I'm telling you, to get your USB drive back up there. If you got the cloud, back it up to the cloud. So that way you'll have a physical save of an exact day. So your reset progress, if it happens, won't be too bad. You know what I mean? All right. And for the status as far as yesterday, they said that they resolved this issue on PC and Xbox and have an upcoming near fix for PlayStation. And that's why we're going around this for the known issue. So for anybody on PlayStation 4 experiencing this, Hopefully this will fix it. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Just a couple hundred of megabytes. But it is a huge update, am I right? We have a ton of fixes. We got a nice little polycaron reward for us as well. And hopefully those high missions will start dropping those exotics and those rewards as intended. But for right now, that's pretty much going to end it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. If you are new to this channel, I hope I earned your sub. If not, that's cool. I hope this video truly has helped you out. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's time to get out there and have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.